is ANN News Brief. Good morning. I am Ola Jumoke Olatunji. The new variant of the COVID-19 virus identified in South Africa is said to be even more of a risk than the highly infectious UK variant. British Health Secretary Mark Hancock said on Monday he was worried about the South African variant in what he called a very significant problem. He said that's why action was taken to restrict all flights from South Africa. UK local television ITV Political editor Robert Peston says UK scientists are worried vaccines may not work on the new variant of the coronavirus found in South Africa. He cited an unidentified scientific advisor to the British government. Regis Professor of Medicine at University of Oxford, who sits on the government's vaccine task force, John Bell, said on Sunday there was a big question mark as to whether vaccines would work on the South African variant. South Africa is the first country on the continent to register more than 1 million COVID-19 cases. A new faster spreading coronavirus variant was detected last month that is believed to be driving the surge in infections. The country has now confirmed 1 million and 11,000 COVID-19 infections, including more than 30,000 deaths since the outbreak began in March. Scientists are now working to examine if South African coronavirus variants existence to vaccine. As the country hopes to obtain doses of COVID-19 vaccines as early as next month. Nigeri Prime Minister Brigi Rafini says one of the deadliest days in recent memory for a country ravaged by Islamist violence was on Saturday when 100 persons were killed during attacks in two villages in western Niger. Niger has announced three days of national mourning after Saturday's attacks by suspected Islamist militants. Security sources said the attacks on civilians were staged in two villages, Chukumbog and Zeromadaye, both located near Niger's western border with Mali. Prime Minister Rafine did not say who was behind the killings. Residents in the two villages have asked for weapons following the absence of security forces in the area. But authorities fear it will fill into community conflicts. The government has promised to give food donations to people affected by the attacks. Niger government says it would strengthen security in the western Tilaberi region that has been plagued by jihadist attacks for many years. We will be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the facts behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Central African Republic authorities have declared winner of the presidential election. The Electoral Commission said the incumbent president, Fulton Archin Duwade, has been re-elected after securing nearly 54% of the vote. There were a total of 16 candidates running for president, including three women. Opposition candidates have said the election was riddled with massive irregularities. The votes took place despite an offensive by a coalition of armed rebel groups, which left thousands unable to cast their ballots. On Sunday, rebel fighters attacked and partially occupied a diamond mining town. Four security humanitarian sources and a UN peacekeeping mission. Moniska said in a statement, at least five rebels were killed and two army soldiers wounded in the clashes in Bagasu, which lies on the southern border with Democratic Republic of Congo. Rebels whom the government and United Nations say are backed by former President Francis Bozize launched an offensive last month after the Constitutional Court rejected Bozize's candidacy to challenge President Faustina Chang Wadere in last Sunday's vote. Threats and attacks by the rebels kept more than 14% of polling stations closed on election day. That is in a news brief at 11. For details on these and all the breaking stories, visit our website, ANNAfrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as ANNAfrica TV. I am Ola Jumokil Latunjee.